far northwest of England, where the River Illum flows from the Lake District Fells into the Irish Sea, Maryport has 2,000 years of tales to tell. Regarded as a strategic military base by the Romans and as a beacon of progress during the Industrial Revolution, the town hit its peak with the age of sail and the coming of the railways, until the boom of heavy industry faded away. All the while, the natural beauty of the area has provided a haven for wildlife and inspired close-knit communities of artisans and entrepreneurs. While several organisations have a passion for the past, they are also striding towards the future with plans to regenerate the high street, provide greater access to the arts and community activities. My name is Alan Roper and I do a variety of, of artistic act activities, uh, graphic design, uh, war murals, uh, teaching art for the council and the settlement. This mural commissioned by the Haas Pilot Project will kickstart all the projects in the town. The mention Gil Piscorn when I started climbing about this extraordinary climber that, that had lived in the village. I knew he'd been a miner and I knew he was a brilliant climber. But I didn't know that he'd really become an artist. The launch of the, the blue plat for Bill Piscod took place at the cottage in Ellenborough uh, where he was born. Following the plaque we had the launch of the world premiere of our Piscod film at home in steep places here in Maryport and that's subsequently the film's gone online and we're delighted it's been nominated for a number of awards around the world. And Maryport's a, it's the kind of place that's got such a rich history. It's got, it's got a rich kind of but challenging history. It's been, it's been, it's been found it tough, you know, since, since very early on in the Industrial Revolution. And that brings a wealth of opportunities and storytelling opportunities, I think. Kicking that kid's head, he said, with all your friends. The light that you get here is fantastic. You've got the sunsets and the reflections on the sea and the, the old lamp posts and it's just brilliant, it's so atmospheric at night. But it's all been Maryport, I seem to have got obsessed with Maryport and I can't stop doing it. Sometimes I do maybe two or three a week. Our main aim is that this farm for Maryport means something to people in terms of their education, their careers, their retraining and indeed their well-being because ultimately being on a farm can be very therapeutic. I wanted to uh, contribute and, and I said well you know maybe I could run some workshops so really I just pass on what I've learned, things that have interested me in, in art and, uh, and so far they've been, they've been quite popular really happy to be working in Maryport uh, at the moment. Uh, all our work really is very much concentrated on the west coast of Cumbria, uh, working in schools, uh, with groups, um, and just kind of celebrating who we are. We're currently working with them uh, making shadow puppets, which will film the bare chapter of the story, and it will go up online so that any visitor we celebrate the fantastic imaginations of our Mary Port children. Alison Ogilvy and Hazel Cameron asked me if I could do this mural as they both lost their sons. They organised it all, got everybody together and it was just to raise awareness for suicide prevention. There's information on there in case if anybody needs it and if it saves at least one life then it's worth it.